I just, I just can't even believe we're back here again. Of course, we're back here again. It's good to be back. It fucking, it's a fucking honor to be here. It just mirrors the camera a little higher than normal. Is it okay like this? Does it look better like this? Or like this. I'm gonna leave it like this. If you have a problem with that, fuck all you! Okay, I'll stop. I'm gonna make this review whether it kills me or not. Have I really been filming for two minutes doing this shit? Hello, folks. Might as well start here. Joey, let's dip in back here for another dip review. As you probably know, I've been doing the Seneca line and, uh, Seneca. Oh, fuck this. As you know, I've been doing the tough guy line. I've done the vanilla, I've done the lemon, and I've done the cinnamon so far, so that leaves orange, wintergreen, and original, and I've been doing them in order of, to me, most interesting to least interesting. And uh, original and wintergreen are gonna come last, because frankly, uh, you know, those are, those are pretty common, these other ones aren't. But so today, as you can probably imagine, we are doing orange. It's funny, I remember. Ew, look at my guitar calluses. I've been playing a lot of guitar, that's fucking nasty. I remember like, a year and a half ago or something like that, I posted a vlog called uh, Dipping Skull Orange Blend. And people were pissed because they actually clicked on the video thinking that Skull came out with an orange blend. No, they didn't. There was no orange dip until this one. This is a watermelon. Keep that in mind. It's going to be important later. No, that's kind of bothering me, actually. There we go. You can just fucking <laughs> technology these days. Let's take a look at the presentation before I get crucified. As I've said a million times over probably, I love these cans. They are unique, they are different, and they look nice. This one is kind of a um, sunburst kind of thing going on in the text there. That looks quite nice. Of course, it's fat cut, it's ace moist snuff. I never thought I'd see the day that there's an orange dip. I just wouldn't. Uh, it's different, I never pictured it. But we're here for it, and I'm kind of excited, not really. I'm not the biggest orange fan, just not. I mean, it's okay. But uh, that's fine. Let's crack into it. By the way, someone uh, mentioned, you haven't been doing the dates for these. These don't have dates on them since they are handmade, they are fresh. And there's a crack for you. By the way, as I've said, it's obese cut. That's what we'll call it, obese cut. This smells so pure. Like it literally, it smells like when I'm ripping the peel off an orange and you have that smell on your fingers for like a fucking day. But it smells pure though, like 100%. Because even like the lemon, it smelled like sour lemon, but it smelled like a candy. This just smells like an orange. You cannot smell tobacco or anything in it. Interesting. Let's pack a lip of it then. Canadians say oot. They spill great with the knee. I side pack these ones because I get too scared of the lids flying off because they're iffy. And it made no difference. This one's packed pretty full. So that's okay. So pack a lip with me. Hopefully you're packing something good. And if you're not packing anything, that's perfectly all right with me. You don't have to dip to watch my videos, you know. Matter of fact, I love all the viewers that don't. Look at that strand. It's a strand. You think you're getting away, huh? It got away. Cheers. I'm quite surprised. This one I was iffy on. I didn't know if it was gonna be good or not. I was like, this one's probably not gonna be the best. It tastes pretty good. I don't hate orange, it's just not my favorite, but uh, this actually tastes pretty good. It just tastes like a fucking orange. Doesn't even taste like dip. It literally tastes like an orange. No artificialness, doesn't taste like candy or any of that shit. It tastes like I just bit into a fucking orange. So obviously can't compare it to anything. It's actually quite good. So far, haven't tried the last two. So far it's the best tasting next to, right behind the lemon. <laughs> you fucking evil prick! And again, a lot of people are saying, Looks like cig cigarette tobacco, and again, I can't disagree. Don't think that's what it is, but that's what it looks like. Either cigarette tobacco or like really low quality pipe tobacco. I remember like, uh, well shit, I guess like four years ago now, as crazy as that is, people asked me to do pipe reviews and I was gonna, I got a nice pipe from like the 50s and I did it for a little bit, but I just never ended up making videos. For anyone who's new here in the past couple of years, you probably didn't know that, that for a while I was gonna make pipe reviews, but I didn't. Pipes weren't really my uh, 
thing. I think we'll just stick to smokeless tobacco stuff. Again, I would never really imagine a cut like this to pack well at all, but it does. It packs so fucking good. See how much you can grab? The shit grabs together perfectly. <laughs> Texture's quite soft. I want to revise something I said in my uh, cinnamon review. <clears throat> I said it didn't burn and it kind of, after quite a few lips, because I'm about three quarters way through the tin now, it actually does start to burn. Probably because it's cinnamon though, but it, it does. This one doesn't, at least not on the initial try. Here, this is a first impression. But so far, based on the ones I've tried, my opinion on them aren't gonna change. Like, they're pretty straightforward dips. When you first try them, you basically know what they are. I mean, unless you dip it enough to get sick of it, I suppose. Nicotine. Someone asked me last video to, like, take that out of the list. And the only reason I don't is because some dips are different. I mean, more than more often than not, I find myself saying, about as much as Skull, not as much as Chris Green, but not as little as Long Island either. But there's some exceptions, so I'll leave it in. But for the tough guys, all of them so far, Skull. The Spit, again. All the tough guys are wet as shit. You get tons of spit and it's very dark. It's nice and moist. Have I ever described how much I hate that fucking word? That's why in my reviews I always say wet. I hate the word moist. It's fucking gross word. It's moist. It just sounds fucking nasty. <laughs> last ability. These tough guys do last a while. I got I give them kudos for that. I mean, the fat cut on top of how wet it is. <laughs> um, wonderful. They last a long time. About an hour. Aftertaste. I just can kind of having a guess when it's a first impression of a dip, but I already know it's just going to taste like fucking orange because that's all it tastes like. I'm not exaggerating when I say it just tastes like pure orange. Crazy shit. Shoutouts. All right, here we go. We have Brandon Vlogs, Joshua Bond, Dippers Unite, Digital Gandalf, Missouri Dippers, Camera Bro Dipper 3, the third something, Throck Daddy, Copenhagen Nathan, Mika O'Kelly, I hope that's how you say it. Um, I'm not always the best with that. Undead Dipper 418, Rebel Revel, and Missouri Dippers. Why the fuck do I keep accidentally putting people on here twice? Sorry. I'm sorry, I promise I'll never hurt you again. Number of subs. We are up to 56,486. I appreciate it. I love you all, and I mean it when I say that. Keep dipping and spitting, keep cracking and packing. And now it's time for the rating of Tough Guy Orange. Again, I'm not the biggest orange fan, but that's no reason to take it out on the dip itself. This dip is actually very excellent. If you like orange, you will like this shit because it tastes like an orange. It serves its purpose. It's a very good dip. So I do enjoy orange from time to time. I'm going to give it an eight. It's pretty solid stuff. So uh, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you like it. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Whoops. Take care. Mm -hmm. Before I break my fucking microphone.